Hi everyone and welcome to codingzest.com. Guys, in our previous video, we fetched this data from Firebase Real Time Database in our Flutter application. Now, in this video, I will show you how you can edit this data. So, what we will do in this video, we will uh, implement a click on this uh, blue icon of edit icon and we will open a new screen and on their screen, we will update our data. So, let's start our tutorial. And as you can see here, I have already created the JSR detector here and inside this on tab, I will use the navigator navigator dot push and inside uh, this router so simply type material we will use the material page route material page route and uh, we will make this builder is uh, empty by adding the underscore inside this uh, parenthesis okay and if I show you, I have uh, already created a new file, uh, update record, and the name of this is update record. So we need to pass the update record here, and inside this uh, constructor, we will pass a parameter uh, of a student key. And if you remember in the previous video, we assigned a key to the student map here from we are getting this key from the database. This is the unique key of every record, okay? So what i will do here i will just simply type student i will name it uh, student key you can name it anything you want and uh, what i will do i will just simply type student and this is the map from the parameter above as you can see here this is the map okay and i will just simply type the key here okay and now what we will do to remove this error go to the update record but first let me uh, save this I will go to the update record screen and here I will create a final string final string and I will name it to student key okay and I will just simply type here required this dot student key okay so the error is gone and as you can see here this error is also gone okay now what we will do we will add uh, three text fields here in our body in on this screen and uh, by using this uh, unique key we will get the information of uh, record like if you want to uh, get the first record so we will pass the student key uh, from here by clicking this button or the second or the third okay so i will just simply uh, copy some code from inserting data so i will just uh, copy this all body here okay and uh, okay till this center i will simply copy it we'll go back to update and i will paste it here okay now what we will do we will uh, create this uh, uh, text field container uh, sorry controllers so i will just simply copy it from here with this database reference okay so i will just simply copy it from here because we will need the database reference to getting the data okay and uh, now what we will do we will we will type init so init state and inside this init state we will initialize our database so simply copy this line from here because we are referencing to this student uh, database okay and now what we will do uh, we will get the data of uh, student okay so simply type void get student uh, student data okay student data and inside this we will create a data snapshot and inside this snapshot we will uh, store the data so simply type db reference but first uh, we will we will make it async because this is asynchronous and we will add a weight here okay db ref dot dbref dot child and inside this child we will pass the student key we are getting as a parameter so simply type widget dot student key and uh, dot once okay and add a semicolon here and uh, database reference okay uh, we need to data snapshot so simply click on this quick fix and add cast so we are casting this data as a data snapshot okay and below here we will create a map create a map of string and string and we will name it student is equal to snapshot snapshot dot value okay and uh, 
what is the error here a video of object can be assigned to object and we need to take uh, package as a map okay so simply type as a map and i think we need to remove this okay also no, no not this this okay so we are good and now what we will do we will assign the student uh, record to uh, these controllers okay so simply type user name controller dot text and simply type here student and the key is name okay this key is coming from five ways okay and user edge controller text so simply type student age here user salary controller is equal to student salary okay okay uh, we need to add dot text here okay so we assign the data and we will uh, call this method inside this init step okay so when we open this screen so it will uh, automatically get the data from here and assign the data to this text field okay and now inside uh, this material button uh, let me uh, remove this okay so as you can see here we have already created a map and what what we are doing here uh, we are simply inserting data but we are we, we will not using the push or set data we will use the update data here okay so once the user updates some data on the text field and uh, when the user hit the button of update so let me change the name of this uh, insert to update data okay i will save it and after this we will update the data by using a unique key okay so we will uh, simply call db reference db reference dot child and what we will pass we will pass the key so widget dot student key and here we will use the update okay so update and we will pass students here okay and we will use the promise here so then value and inside the curly braces we will simply navigate back to our uh, data fetching screen okay so to navigate back simply type navigator navigator dot okay uh, navigator dot pop and context okay so what i will do okay we don't need this here and i will restart my application Okay, the application is restarted. I will go to fetch data and it will fetch the data from Firebase and I will uh, update this uh, second one. Okay, so I will simply click on this and uh, we will wait for data to come here. Okay, we are not getting the data, so let me try again. For the third record and uh, I think we have some issue by setting the data so we will go check okay guys so the issue was uh, we we don't need to take this as a data snapshot or as a once so we will just simply remove this and we will change this once to get so what we will do we will get data from firebase real-time database now if i restart my application so our application will be restarted now okay i will fetch the data first and now i will edit this record so i will click on this edit button and as you can see here now we are getting our data so here i will change my name to coding this okay so coding this and the age will be one and i will change the salary to 10 20 okay and uh, if i click 
nice update data so it will update the data as you can see here the first record is updated and if I update the third one I will just simply remove this element from here and I will add 9 8 here and I will click on update so as you can see here the data is updated and you will get the source code link in the description so if you want the source code so you can uh, go to the description and go to that link so you will find the source code and that's how you can update the uh, data in firebase real-time database by using flutter and if you like this video please share this video with your friend and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos